So I'd pretty much taken a break from playing Modern Warfare 2 for a little while, but a couple new game modes have got me drawn back in. Eat my shorts. Grind is a game mode that has been in MW2 at least since July. It may have been in there longer, but I had not seen it prior, and I'd never played it until this week when I picked the game back up and started getting into it again, and I tell you what, it's a lot of fun. The goal here is you collect tags from down players and then insert them into a bank to score points for yourself and your team. And really what it is is a combination of kill confirmed and capture the flags. Wow, stole that. High risk, high reward is always a fun recipe uh, in any game. And there's also tons of potential for just really good plays as well. That's what's called being a little bit smarter than your opponent. Oh God. Did I kill him? Nope, I don't think so. Well, maybe I killed back the other guy. Run. Oh, gotcha. So I got three left here. Nice. Good night. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Lockdown is the other game mode that I've been thoroughly enjoying. Now, this one's been, definitely been out since uh, the latest major update that Call of Duty had. I just didn't get a chance to play it um, right away. However, it's also a ton of fun, and essentially what this feels like, at least to me, is larger scale hardpoint. Uh, you're playing on Warzone map, Vondel, and there are multiple teams of four. Uh, up to 40 players, so it's not a gigantic amount of players, but it's certainly a lot more than what you would normally be playing if you're playing typical hardpoint in multiplayer, which is two teams. You have multiple teams of four uh, vying for these spots and trying to hold these points. The longer you hold a point, the more points you get. These points also rotate uh, across the map during the course of the match. No, no, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. Nice, nice, nice. Whoa! 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 Oh, I see him! I see him! Behind us! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Got him. Just trying to find an objective to get to that we can get on real quick. You know, it isn't contested. Ooh! Very nice, Alex. Oh. oh my god, I can't believe I pulled that off. Oh! That was crazy. Tell me he's dead. Found one. I hit him with the thermal! Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, let me get you. I got you. That was awesome. Oh, he's already on me! There you go. Oh, man. I can't reload! I can't reload! I was—I forgot I was an old play the two either. Play, I live in a fairly, you know, a town called Joliet. He played it like a bar in Joliet. Like, when I was... I was very young. I mean, I didn't go, but people that were a little—I know they're a little older than me. Remember going to see him at a bar in Joliet, which I think. Why was is he hilarious. laying down constantly? What the hell is wrong with that dude? Good night, sweet prince. Let's go for C. We back in first too. Nice. 
Oh no. I am still waiting patiently for Call of Duty to add an option for me to play with crossplay off because I prefer to play with a mouse and keyboard. That's why I bought a computer in the first place, uh, at least for gaming. Still not there yet. We'll see. We'll just have to see. Where, where, wherever you fall on the aim assist issue in this game, uh, I do think the option to turn that function off crossplay is not that big of an ask, to be quite honest with you. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for stopping by. Have yourself a great week. We'll see you later.